the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we and with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Very few here this morning. I think people must be having a rest day. So it would be cold outside. Very, very cold. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me and the Lord God. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, and strive more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion. We may receive from the greatest measure the healing remedy which your kindness bestows. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the prophet Daniel. I, Daniel, have been seeing visions in the night. I saw that the four winds of heaven were stirring up the great sea. Four great beasts emerged from the sea, each different from the other. The first was like a lion with eagle's wings, and as I looked, its wings were torn off, and it was lifted from the ground and sat standing on its feet like a man and it was given a human heart. The second beast I saw was different, like a bear, raised up on one of its sides, with three ribs in its mouth, between its teeth. Up came the command, eat quantities of flesh. After this I looked and saw another beast, like a leopard, and with four birds' wings on its flanks. It had four heads, and a power was given to it. I saw another vision in the visions of the night. I saw a fourth beast, fearful, terrifying, very strong. It had great iron teeth, and it ate, crushed, and trampled underfoot what remained. It was different from the previous beasts and had ten horns. While I was looking at these horns, I saw another horn sprouting among them, a little one. Three of the original horns were pulled out by the roots to make way for it. And in this horn I saw eyes like human eyes and a mouth that was full of boasts. As I watched, thrones were set in place and one of great age took his seat. His robe was white as snow, the hair of his head as pure as wool. His throne was a blaze of flames. Its wheels were a burning fire, a stream of fire poured out, issuing from his presence. A thousand thousand waited on him. 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. A court was held and the books were opened. The great things the horn was saying were still ringing in my ears, and as I watched, the beast was killed, and its body destroyed and committed to the flames. The other beasts were deprived of their power, but received a lease of life for a season and a time. I gazed into the visions of the night, and I saw coming on the clouds of heaven one like a son of man. He came to the one of great age 
and was led into his presence. On him was conferred sovereignty, glory, and kingship, and men of all peoples, nations, and languages became his servants. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty, which shall never pass away, nor will his empire ever be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Now the responsorial psalm comes quite quickly each time. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory, Give glory and eternal, and eternal praise, praise to him. him. Mountains and hills bless the Lord. Give glory Give and eternal, eternal praise, praise to him. Everything that grows on the earth bless the Lord. Give, Give glory, glory and eternal praise to him. Springs of water bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Seas and rivers bless the Lord. Sea beasts and everything that lives in water bless the Lord. Glory and eternal praise to him. Birds of heaven bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Animals wild and tame bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Alleluia, alleluia. Stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Think of the fig tree, and indeed every tree. As soon as you see them bud, you know that summer is coming. So with you, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. I tell you solemnly, before this generation has passed away, all will have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Many years ago, when I was discerning whether I would enter into formation for the priesthood, a good friend of mine said to me, Tom, don't grasp of the things of this earth because they pass away. Grasp for the things of heaven, for they never pass away. I think her words were inspired by the words that we hear from today's gospel, where we hear Jesus say, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Our first reading from the book of Daniel this morning has overtones of the book of the Apocalypse, the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation. Both books, it seems, are dwelling upon the last days, the last days where there will be tumults in the heavens and in the earth. But those last days are signs of the coming of God's kingdom, things that will never pass away. We enter into on Sunday the beautiful season of Advent, where in that first part of Advent we will reflect on the end days, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in glory at the end of time time for us to remember that we are constantly expecting the kingdom, a kingdom of justice, a kingdom of peace, a kingdom where there is no more suffering and no more pain, where things never of goodness never pass away. So let us turn to the Lord in our prayers and intercession for this day. We pray for the church that it may always be a place of expectant hope, expecting God's kingdom here on earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. yeah. our prayer. We pray for our world, a world which grasps on to the things that pass away. We pray that <coughs> leaders and Rulers of our Lord may build systems of justice, systems of peace, where all are safe and all are protected. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for ourselves and our journeys of faith, especially as we enter into this season of Advent. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to walk, which you have given unto you the hands that made, will become for us the bread. Let me go on forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to walk, fruit of the vine work of human hands, that will become our spirit healing. Let me go on forever. Our praise has added nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation. And so we accompany you with the cries of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to all the hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. So he was commanded and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done upon earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for my evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Not of our sins, but of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Love God, that you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Love of God, that you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Lord, we will be with you. Amen. 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 Am